What is going on, my Super Saiyan witches? Rhymes out here. Welcome back to another Pokemon opening. And today we have a special one. I have two things to open. Number one, I just got this package that arrived from the homie Pokemon Revolution or Poke Rev, as you guys might know him actually. He actually uh, just now started his YouTube channel for like literally the past like three years. I've been telling him, like, yo, start a channel, start a channel. It's a lot of fun. And he finally did it. And it's actually a really fun and unique channel. So if you're looking for more Pokemon content to consume, go over there. I'll link in the description below. Go subscribe to him and all that good stuff. Uh, he's got a lot of cool stuff. Trust me, he's, he's a really good dude. On top of that, he sent me this box. Like, I said was just showed up I, I have no idea what this is like it just kind of showed up today and then we also have these uh six packs of crystal gardens which i bought from troll and toad a couple days ago and actually this is the perfect time to open it so first and foremost let's see what's inside of here like i literally opened the box i saw this little letter that just said uh um pull some fire and then i was like you know what let me just go ahead and start recording real fast and see what we get i mean actually let me try not punching my camera every three seconds so we got it uh, looks like Here's this information, by the way, if you want to get the card, there you go, as always. I've opened packs from him before. He's actually one of the first people I bought um, the vintage packs from. He's very, very trusted. So if you're also looking for a product and stuff like that, he's your go-to guy. So yeah, so actually move this out of the way. Let's see, should we open the envelopes first? Or should we just kind of like open the... Here's what we'll do. I'm going to open these one by one. I'm going to do, let's say, two Crystal Guardians packs, and then we'll go into the secret envelopes. So yeah. Do I want to open this? I feel like I should keep this Charizard pack just because of the artwork. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna put this in the back for now. So let's hop in with the Blaziken pack first, and uh, we'll do we'll do one Crystal Guardian, and then I'll hop into the actual envelope first, and then we'll go back and forth. How's that? How's that for a deal? I think it's a pretty good deal. So EX Crystal Guardians, what can you pull out there? Uh, they have EX Celebi, EX Celebi, sorry, Celebi, Gold Star Celebi, and Gold Star Alakazam. Now in the past, I have pulled Gold Stars before. I have pulled them multiple times, but still, like just because it happened twice. Or three times on my channel doesn't mean it's gonna happen again because they're very very disgustingly rare so first and foremost we got my boy Krabby we got Electrike we got Diglett this is one of my favorite Diglett art because literally this Diglett is dying there's no one here to help him at all like there's a giant surf that's about to hit my boy and no one's helping him. Charmander that's always a win I'm gonna actually put this in the back the reverse should be coming up here in a second we got Bulbasaur too we got two starters and we got a Grumpy which is a reverse rare which is a win and the first hit of the pack is Combuskin why is that a rare? That's a rare? All right, that's that's interesting. Usually that'll be an uncommon, but whatever. So we got combustion. We got a grumpy, which is kind of cool. But I think I pulled this before in the past, and that is a reverse rare. And then we got whoops, we got Charmeleon and Ivy. Yo, that's kind of dope. So we got Ivy Sword to go with. You know what? Let's let's kind of let's get this background set up more properly. So first and foremost, let me get sleeve out for this grumpy because it is a rare. And at times I feel like the reverse rares are cooler than the actual regular rares. So that's actually kind of uh, dope. I'll move these over for now, and we're gonna open up, uh, open these up live. And let me actually uh, line up these guys properly. So we got Charmander and Charmeleon in the back. There you go. And then we put you over here next to the Charizard. And then we got Bulbasaur and Ivysaur because they're starters. You know, stars are always good ones. Combuskin, you can kind of just hang out on your own. <laughs> By the way, as always, if you enjoy seeing the vintage content, even though I can't always do it, hit that thumbs up, and I'll try to do you know more in the future. Let's hop into the Skitty Pack, and then we'll hop into the actual um, the next one over here. Let's pop that in there real fast. See what we can get, and then we'll open up one of the envelopes and see what uh, kind of goodies Pokemon Revolution sent. Like I said, I have no idea. I mean, I messaged them saying you know I wanted to buy some packs the other day. But I never really confirmed yet, so I was kind of like thinking about what to buy, and then that just shows up. So it's a good day. It's Christmas, literally. It might be Christmas by the time you're watching this. I have no idea. If it is, happy holidays. All right, we got Jigglypuff and Wismer. We got Mudkip. That's a starter. I'm gonna put you in the back over here. You know, I always like the starters. Metatite, Cacnea, Reverse should be up next, and Camera Up, which I believe that's a rare again. Look at that, back to back. And then Loudred, literally my spirit animal because I'm one of the most loudest humans. And what? Yo, what is with all the the starters, man. The starter evolution, that's kind of dope. We'll put you over here next to Mudkip. We don't got the Squirtle yet, but hey, he can always pop up. Now, this does have a Charizard in it, as well as a Blastoise. Um, it's not the rarest, but it's pretty expensive. And I feel like it's really hard to get as a PSA 10 as well, just due to the fact that it's really hard to um, get uh, the perfect condition when it's not like, you know, have any print errors and stuff like that. So it's if you get one, it happens to be perfect condition, you got like, you know, a banger of a card there. All right, so let's open uh, Let's open up, if I can speak, our first envelope from Pokemon Rev, and let's see what we get inside here. Like I said, I have no idea what to expect out of here. But hey, man, Pokemon Revolution, if he says pull some fire, he means it. So we got, what we got? Oh, it's an EX Ruby and Sapphire pack! Yo! What is, oh, I, I swear I was just literally looking at this list the other day. 
I was literally just looking at this list. Oh, speaking of which, he's also doing a huge giveaway as well. So if you go check out his channel, you could be one of the winners of what he's got over there. But I was literally just looking at EX Ruby packs the other day. So it's actually kind of funny that they showed up. So here we go. First one. Man, this is going to be like an all EX series opening there from the looks of it, which is kind of dope. I try to kind of conserve that pack, but it got kind of shredded. But so, sorry. Let's see what we got. Right off the bat, we got Electric. I believe there's no Gold Stars in here. Yeah, there's no Gold Stars, but they got some pretty dope EXs. We got Electric, followed by Makuhita. I love these uh, E Series cac uh, cacs. <laughs> cards. Too much Xenoverse. Um, because they're just, I don't know, I feel like they were uh, kind of hit and miss with a lot of people, but to me, I think they were really, really dope. We got Puchiana. We got Carvana. The reverse. Should be after Slack. Really? <laughs> it just Slack out buff. But uh, Silcoon. That's a rare, right? No, it's not uncommon. My brain's kind of scrambled because I just got done live streaming, so I was like yelling for the past like hour, so that's why I'm like all over the place. So I apologize for that, but we'll get through it. Uh, the reverse is skinny, and then the rare is oh, it's a chance EX. Yo, yo, there's definitely fire in here. Hey, okay, all right, okay, all right. This is a this is a dope opening. You know, when I bought my uh, my Crystal Guardians packs, I was like, I'm not expecting much out of here. Usually, uh, I get Crystal Guardians whenever they pop up, just due to the fact that, you know, they're amongst the more cheaper of the EX Series packs. But still, getting them, I just expected nothing. But then, you know, getting these to go along with it is actually pretty fire, too. So, yeah. I want to put this over here for now. Let's hop into the next uh, Crystal Guardians pack. So, we'll do two more Crystal Guardians pack. Then, we'll go into the last envelope. And now, figure out if I want to open up that uh, last Charizard pack. Because I feel like the artwork itself might be one to keep. But then again, it could also have a reverse Charizard in it. So, we'll see what happens. All right. Let's see what my boy Jirachi got. Can Jirachi bring it on home with the Gold Star? Last time I pulled the Gold Star was months ago. So, I'm kind of overdue. Oh, look at this Charmander, though. Look at that Charmander art. Yo, okay. Put you over here with your, with your, with your brethren. There you go. It's a fire top version. Of and there's Squirtle! Man, I'm going to get all of these uh, these starter cards graded because, I mean, it's always a win. We got the classic Dab and Dust Skull. Bulbasaur again with the, with the starters. The other art. Put you over here. We got Pokeball, which might be kind of a dope one to get graded as well because it's kind of iconic. And then behind it, we got... <sighs> Trash. Garbage. Charmeleon, though. Yo, you know what? Worst case scenario. And Grove Out. Worst case scenario, you know, I got all these uh, Charmanders and Charmeleons to grade, so it's not like the biggest L. You know, if you get those as PSA 10s, you got some return back, you know? And I feel like with the prices for the uh, Crystal Guardians packs, you could probably make your money back if you grade the stars, if anything. Because, like, someone's going to want those at the end of the day. And I might keep from my own collection, I'm going to be honest with you. I am going to sleep up this uh, Uncommon Pokeball, because I think this is kind of a dope one as well. All right, what I say, I said I was going to do one more. We'll do the uh, second Jirachi pack, or the last Jirachi pack. And then we'll hop into one more envelope and see what's in there as well. So, again, much love to PokeRev. I'm telling you, his channel's dope. I'm not just saying this because he's sending these to me. He's actually a really good dude, and I've been telling him for years. He's one of the first people that I reached out to when I got back into Pokemon. I've been telling him for years, like, yo, start a channel, start a channel. It's a lot of fun. And I'm really happy he's actually on the platform, so go show him some love. All right, we got Wingle, we got Potion, we got my boy Trico, getting the stars again. We'll put you to the side over here. Spoink, low tad, the reverse should be next. Reverse is an Aeron. Eh. Ah, Medichang. Dang. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Nuzleaf and then uh, Bill's Maintenance. So nothing out of that one. I am going to sleep up the Aeron still, though. <sighs> these packs might have been weighed. They might have been weighed from the looks of it. I mean, like I said, I kind of expect much when I buy these, uh, the, the Crystal Guardian stuff. Whenever you buy EX Series packs online, you got to be careful. Um, which is one of the reasons why I like uh, PokeRare so much. I'm plugging you a lot right now. You know, he literally is a very, very trusted source. And you can almost always expect, that if you buy packs from him, it's going to be fire. It's absolutely going to be fire. All right, speaking of fire... Let's see what we got in this one. So I, I wonder if this is going to be a EX3 pack again or if it's going to be something different. Regardless, I mean, let's see what happens. We got... Oh, EX Sandstorm! Let's see what we get. Oh, this is going to be an all E-Series opening from the looks of it. Well, E-Series and of course we got the EX Series. E-Series and EX Series aren't the same thing technically, but... Uh, they're around the same era. About right, just around, around, right around the same time. Okay, let's see what my boy Surviper got for us. Pop into this. I don't think I've ever opened EX uh, Sandstorm packs before. I don't think I did. Or I might have. I don't know. We got Psyduck. Oh, I absolutely love this art. That is just amazing. Put you in the back over here. Slack off. I like how Slack off just reach around with his long arm. I got long arms, so like I kind of, I I feel Slack off on a, on a spiritual level right now. We got Duskull again. We got C Dot. We got Aeron. Asmaril, and then the reverse should be next. That's not the rare, right? Yes, yeah, that's just not uh, uncommon. Reverse should be after the two. Uh, rare candy is a good one. I believe that's a good one. And then 
We got a sand slash. Hey, but a rare candy is a dope one. Rare candy is a dope one. Only because anything that's kind of iconic, like Pokeballs, Ultra Balls, Master Balls, whatever, and rare candy, I feel like is always kind of a hit. And it's got pretty good condition too. Really good centering. I'm gonna have to send this off as well. Definitely gonna have to send this off as well. Look at that glare. Look at that glare. All right. So do we open up? Yeah, we do. We open up uh, the last C Crystal Guardians pack. I honestly might. Man, I really want to open that Charizard pack, but I don't know if I should. Because the Charizard artwork is always a win. Uh, even if it's like a, like a weight pack. You know, okay, let's see what happens. If there's something in here, if I pull anything in here, then I, I don't know, maybe. Let's see what happens. I'm going to open this pack first, and then we'll discuss, decide what we're going to do with that one. But at least we're going to get one more pack, which is the mystery pack that my boy Rev said as well. All right, we got Spoink. We got Potion. Squirtle again. That's a win. Put you over here. I'm just going to get the little starter pal going. Bulbasaur. Whoops. We got Aaron, uh, Pelipper, which is a reverse rare. Yeah, it's a rare. And then behind it, we got A, a holographic Sableye. Okay, so they weren't weight. They weren't weight at all. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Sableye, I don't know how, you know what? Screw it, this is a dope Sableye. I was about to say, I don't know how cool or good of a pull Sableye actually is, but the R-Rogue behind this is untouchable. So, I mean, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Now we got Nuzleaf again and Holland Circle, and then that's it. We're gonna go ahead and sleep that up. That's dope, that's dope. Getting a Hollow is definitely a win. I think for you guys, I'm gonna open it. Yeah, I'm gonna open it. Cause you never know. This could have, this could very well have a reverse Charizard. I mean, I pulled reverse rares out of all the other packs. So, you know, if this ends up being a light pack, at least we can try to get a uh, a Charizard out of it, you know, from the reverse side, which is still pretty valuable as well. I do want to preserve this pack at least. That's gonna go in my box. I, I'm kind of weird. I have a box of just like uh, Pokemon wrappers, like a bunch of them. So this is definitely gonna go in there as well. All right, we got Metatite. We got Krabby, Wismer, Bulbasaur. It's gonna go in the starter pile. There you go. Over here. We can go Charmander. Oh, reverse Charmander. That's definitely cool. It's not Charizard, but it's probably the next best thing. And then behind it, we have Igliba. That's fine. Layer on and then Grove Vile, which is kind of cool. You know what? I'm not mad. This is actually a really cool Charmander. Look at it. This is probably one of my favorite Charmander arts that I've ever seen. So I think that was definitely win. I think it was worth the opening. It's kind of off center, though, so I don't know if it's gonna be a 10, but I'm gonna get a great anyways, because why not? All right, the last pack from Rev. Let's see what the last pack from Rev will bring us. So the first one was uh, EX Ruby and Sapphire. Then we got Sandstorm. What is the last pack going to be? Let's see what we got. Oh, we got Fossil, hey! All right, cool. I, I really want Articuno. I really want Articuno out of here. Articuno was one of my favorite cards in my childhood from the set. He absolutely, and I'll never forget because I tell the story a lot. I traded that Articuno for a freaking Meryl. <laughs> from a Neo Genesis Meryl. I was like, I mean, that was like nine, 10, whatever. You know, I didn't know any better, but this is cool. Also, I like the fact that it has a little uh, price sticker, which is probably mad old when they were like $2 to $3 a pack. They're way more now. So yeah, all right, all right, let's see what we're gonna end it with. Can we end it? Can we end it on an Articuno pool? Because that would be a, a way to go out. Slowpoke, we got Shelter. We can also try to get the Krabby with the uh, error. Oh, and it's not it's not the error one, so the error one would have a slash through the fossil logo. Kabuto, uh, Geodude, Grimer should be the next one, I believe. Ditto, not hollow, ah, it's all good, it's all good. That was still pretty dope to open. That, was, that still feels really good to open this. We got Golbat, Slowbro, and Magmar. Actually, Magmar is, is another one that I really, really like. I think the first time I met Pokemon Revolution, he sent me a graded Magmar, which is kind of cool. It's like a little gift. Uh, I, I still have that. It should be in my box of all graded cards. But yeah, overall, this is a pretty fun opening. This is really, really dope. I'm not mad at all. You know, I got my uh, reverse rares. I got my Charmander. And of course, the holographic Sableye, as well as uh, the, the Chansey. Where's the Chansey at? I think the Chansey by far was probably the best pull right there. So yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to stop a like on it. Again, check out Pokemon Revolution in the description below. Go subscribe, check out all his content, and tell him to do more. Otherwise, stay tuned for more openings. Happy holidays. Thank you for all the support. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.